Yo, yo, yo. All right, so we're gonna start a new thing um, with the PlayStation Ain't Dead group is, I'm gonna try to do my pickups for their PS5. That's what I'm mainly kind of focused on right now. Um, and do those every month. <clears throat> so at the end of every month, hopefully, everything continues how it's going. Um, throw up a video like this to show you my pickups for the month kind of go through them briefly um and then yeah so if you like it we'll continue to do that if not i'll throw some other stuff i know will has some other stuff going on same with ricky and some other admins too so um we'll start this is my first video on this channel so um i'll start with this there's no particular order uh these are my pickups for january 2022 so first um Cricket 22 for the PS5. Um, <clears throat> never, sorry, I have a little, little scratchy throat in this here. Um, never played Cricket. This is actually, I'm typically a North American collector, um, but for some reason the PS5 got me in journey into the PAL and Germany and other regions um, for games, Japanese, things like that too. So, um, so yeah, this is, you'll probably see some more PAL stuff, but I'm mainly going for North American, but I'll probably get the exclusive for the PALs that we don't get in the States here. But yeah, Cricket 2022, um, there was a little delay on this one actually, kind of some controversy with, there was another player that was on this cover um, that got in some trouble. I can't remember the, the reason behind it, but they ended up delaying it a little bit and putting another guy on the cover here. So it's Cricket 2022. Um, I don't open my games until I go to play them, so most of these will probably be sealed until I go to play them. I probably won't be playing this game, so this will probably stay sealed forever. So, <clears throat> next one, Black Wind. There's another one here I got recently. Um, definitely pretty cool. Uh, like a tech armor um, suit robot co-op shooter. Um, definitely looks pretty cool, sci-fi-ish. Um, this originally was... Like it looked like it was a PAL exclusive and then Perp Games, which typically makes um, European games, made a North American release for this one. So yeah, Black One was another one that came out this month. Um, January is definitely a slower month, even though this this pile was not going to seem like it. It's, uh, it's definitely a slower month for games because after coming off the holidays, um, you're getting not that many releases, but in February, it's kind of full flush, especially with PlayStation here. Um, this next one here, Disco Elysium. This was a this is an I am eight big exclusive. Funny thing with this one is when they originally put this out, um, this was the only way you could get this was the the collector's edition. So, and that was like two fifty. And so, you know, people were complaining about spending two fifty for. To just get the physical version for the ps5 for this one people complained obviously and they went back and made it just the standard as well too which was awesome because i really didn't want to fork out that kind of money for just for the standard release of this game so that came um haven't played this one i heard it's pretty cool uh kind of a top down rpg game got a lot of awards so that's something i'll definitely find jump into soon here next one i love horror stuff so any horror games i can find out there um i'm gonna grab this one is another pal exclusive it's called horror tales the wine it's a walking simulator um if y'all out there like that are platinums go for platinum hunters um this is a pretty quick one i think maybe hour two hours um if you're following a guide or you're not trying to explore every nook and cranny in the game um but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna definitely jump into this one. Um, it looks awesome, pretty awesome actually. <clears throat> Funny story with this one. This is actually a free game. <laughs> so I ordered this back, I think November-ish, because Walmart said that 
they were getting it sooner for some reason before it actually physically came out. I ordered it, it got delayed, because I knew it was coming out later. I figured they would get it sooner for some reason. Um, but I ended up canceling the order um, and got my money back. So I got a notification that uh, the ship, I'm like, what game is getting shipped? So come to find out it was this game from, I ordered from Walmart. Uh, I know they had a PS4 release. Um, this is the PS5 version, Anniversary Edition, Human Fall Flat. So yeah, free game, I'll take it. <laughs> um, obviously I'm, I was gonna get it anyways, but a surprise to me that that, that came. So I was kind of shocked. Uh, another another PAL game, In Rays of the Light. Um, this is another walking simulator. It looks really awesome with the graphics. Um, kind of another uh, probably one to two hour, three hour platinum game. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of walking simulators are coming out, um, which is not a bad thing. I mean, um, teach his own. I mean, if somebody doesn't need something crazy all the time, too, you just want to come up chill game or something that's not blowing your brains out here. Um, <laughs> sorry, I have the little cut. I, my kids are kids friends are playing out here. So, um, this is actually a Red Art Games exclusive. Um, with limited only to, I think it's, it's still up, but it's only limited to um, 999 copies for the PS4 and PS5. So, <clears throat> um, if you're looking to get into a collection or get into something that's limited, this is one to grab. There's only 1,000 copies, roughly, of each PS4 and PS5 uh, Red Art games. Also, this one that's on I Am 8 Bit, I think it's sold out by now. So, and I can only imagine this going up in price, so I think the only way you can get it now through the website for the PS5 is that collector's edition, which hasn't shipped yet. Uh, <clears throat> this game, what to say about this game? So, um, PS5 has definitely come out with some shovelware, and this is being one of them. King Leo, definitely not playing this game. Looks like a, just kind of a platformer here. Um, they've had a few of these come out since the system's come out. Um, it's a Germany exclusive as at the moment, but ended up grabbing that. It looks horrible, but I had to grab it. So, uh, another one from I am 8 bit. There's two versions of this, versions of this. Uh, there's an I am 8 bit version, which has a different art cover and has some exclusive stuff with it that you can get on the website. Actually, I think it's sold out now at the recording of this video but this is the retail version which you can get through best buy so different cover um this mine's a little bit different you can see it's backwards out however but mine's a little bit different um but this is the retail version through best buy um it's of manifold garden or manifold full garden um i heard this looks amazing as far as uh, like a puzzler but I probably will play it. I'll probably open this one if I do. When I get around to it, I'll probably keep the other one sealed. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go through these real quickly. Unfortunately, with collecting PS5 or any system, if you're going for a full set, you gotta get the sports game. So <clears throat> um, three versions of this came out. So you got the 25th, um, I'm sorry, 75th anniversary um, of NBA 2K. This comes with the, the slippy which is awesome, I love slip covers. PS5 only has a handful, not even that, of these. Uh, <coughs> and then the GameStop exclusive, the WNBA version cover with a canvas on the front of it. So um, unfortunately with going for full sets, you gotta get the sports stuff, even though I don't play sports games. <coughs> Had to grab those too, so. This was probably the first major release for in January. Um, this was Rainbow Six um, Extraction. Um, Rainbow Six Siege has been out forever. They put out a copy for the PS5 um, a year or so ago as well. And this was probably the first major release for January. Um, the Deluxe Edition, you can only get it at GameStop, here in the States at least. Um, looks pretty great. Um, 
some of the same characters for Rainbow Six Siege. You can play with this. Nice thing too, if you got it, you want to have co-op with your buddies. Um, it does have a buddy pass with it too. So you don't both need to have a copy of this. You can, just one of you. Next one, not huge into simulators, but uh, Train Sim World 2 Rush Hour Deluxe Edition. Um, yeah, this will probably stay sealed, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not in the big simulator. I mean, if I am, I'm gonna be, probably not be playing this one here at least. But uh, yeah, Train Simulator. All you train simulators out there, enthusiasts, let me know how that is. <clears throat> these originally, I actually had these in the PAL versions because I didn't think they were coming to the States. Um, but they finally came over this month. And I don't know if you want to consider them, I wouldn't say shovelware, but in the gist of it, maybe. Um, two World War I games. Uh, Verdun and Tannenberg. So, yeah, shooters, kind of Call of Duty esque, going back to World War One. Um, but if you like war games, history games, definitely check those out. Uh, this one. Like I said, a little more horror games. This is Uni Sunset Edition. Um, this, like I said, another Slippy, which is nice. Um, I played this one. This one would probably stay sealed. I played this at a at the Japanese version of this. And that was originally how it came out, and then PAL came out with edition with the Sunset. Kind of has some extra bonus stuff with some, I think, postcards. Uh, horror survival horror game um, based on like a, a children's game, finding a doll with a in a bucket. So it's not, it's not too bad, but if you like horror, I'll be one to pick up. And last but not least, actually, no, I got one more. Um, Uncharted. I mean, that's probably, probably the biggest release this month is Uncharted. Uh, these Legacy of Thieves collection, those are both on disc, which is great. Um, yeah, played, played, you know, I, I have both of these for PS4. I only played The Thief and uh, Uncharted 4. I didn't play The Lost Legacy. I think I started it, but then didn't, I lost interest of it. But I'll probably jump back into these, especially with them being remastered. Um, but I remember uh, Uncharted 4 being a great game. I put out, actually, I put out a, a thing in the in the Facebook group that, you know, what was your favorite? I would say, I mean, if I had to guess, for, for me, I'd not guess, but say, for me, my uh, my favorite one of the series would probably have to be two. I think it just caught my attention more. One, nah, two, yeah. Um, but four, actually, is another great one. I would say two and the four are probably my favorites. But I think I will have to jump into Lost Legacy. But I can see them bringing this back. Um, I know the movie is getting ready to release here next month. So we'll see how that does. And go from there but last but not least um <clears throat> i have this this is a beyond the steel sky utopia edition um i have the steel book of this just the normal one um ended up beating it great game it was a sequel to a pc game that came out but um great story um, there's different endings to it, so depending on how you, you pick and, and you go, different outcomes of the story will go to. It's kind of like a kind of a clicking point in a way ish. But um, after after beating it, it's like oh let me get this. This dropped in price a lot on Amazon, so ended up snagging this up, which I'm glad I waited. But funny thing is, I don't think a lot of people know this, is this has a misprint on it. And even though no matter what version you get, whether it be PS5, PS4, the Switch. Um, I don't think this came out for Xbox. It might, if it did, it's gonna have this on it too. But this has a a misprint of it. So every version you get, I don't know if you can see, it has the PS4 version on it. So if you get the Switch version, of this this game, it's gonna have the PS4 version 
on the back of that, which is hilarious, which I don't think a lot of people would know that. Um, but yeah, that is it for the pickup. Uh, <clears throat> I, February is going to be a crazy month, so um, expect I'll post some in the, in the chat in the groups, um, but then ex expect a video like this at the end of February. So that is it. It's all the games for the month of January. If you like it, comment, subscribe, share the video, please. Um, any requests, anything like that. I got a bunch of these. This is probably I'm sitting at about 217 PS5 games. So if you got any requests for different videos or ideas, let me know in the comments um, or in the in the Facebook groups. But yeah, peace.